Hello everyone, Caddy Wampus Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Awakening. Today's episode, we are going to be using the vats from Ender.io to make hooch and fire water. We need those for the Philosopher's Stone. Alright, so the first thing you need to know is you need vats. You're going to need either one or two. Two makes it easier. Alright, so you go like this. And then the way I'm going to set it up, I'm going to put the generators in the back here. I'm going to put coal inside of those. Alright, now we need items. We need here and here. And then what we're going to do is put a drum of water here. We're going to put an empty drum right here. We're going to put apples and sugar in here. We're going to put redstone and blaze powder in here. And blaze powder, you can break down cinder pearls. You just throw them in a crafting grid like this. Boom, you get blaze powder. The reason I chose apples is because I have an apple tree. And if you don't know how to make one of those, it's nothing but an oak sapling and an apple. You put that down, you can bone meal, it'll grow, then it'll have apples hanging from it, and you can bone meal those at a one-to-one -one ratio. So one bone meal is one apple. So they're super easy to get. Now we're going to configure this. You can see it's getting power. If we go to configure, now left click drags this around. We're going to right click so it pulls from the top. So it's going to pull water in, and then we're going to right click so it'll pull from the chest, and it will pull the apples, and it will pull the sugar. Now what that's going to do is it's going to pull water from here, and put it in the center. It's going to add these two items, and it's going to turn it into ho hooch. I'll get it right. And then it's going to pump it out into this tank. So if we look, hooch is made like this and like we see water the output is hooch and you sugar goes in this side i could have used potatoes and had a four times multiplier but the apples are just easier for me to get right now all right and you can see we've already got 875 millibuckets of hooch all right and then once that gets up you can see we can use hooch right here and we can add the blaze powder and redstone and we will get fire water all right so if we go like this and we configure this one we're going to tell it to pull from this side which is going to pull the hooch in and we're going to tell it to pull from this side and it's going to pull the other stuff in that it needs and then what we're going to do is we're going to tell it output or push to the top so now these go to town, they're working. How much do I have in here? Yeah, I have over a full one. So this should output fire water right here, which we need that, like I said, for the Philosopher's Stone. All right. So while this is cooking, I do want to do a shout out, first of all. A shout out to one of my subscribers. His name is Viperion. I believe I'm saying that correctly. And he donated $50 to me on Steam. He donated a Steam gift card so that once I get done this series, if I want to get a different game and do a series on that or whatever, I have a little bit of spending money. I can use that during the Steam summer sale and pick up, say, three or four games to do videos on. Though I do want to keep doing some Minecraft ones because of all the games that I play, Minecraft is the constant. I can go away from Minecraft for a year or two which I don't know that I've ever gone away that long. But I can pick it up after a year or two. Somebody's had an updated mod pack or something, and I can get right back into it. There's other games that I just I can't come back to. It's once you play them, you play them. But Minecraft is that one constant game that I constantly come back to. All right, so you see, oh, we've already got three buckets. Wow, three buckets of fire water. And we need those, like I said, for the Philosopher's Stone. Okay, I'm going to, for the rest of the episode, I'm going to go around and show you some different stuff that I've done on my base because a lot of stuff has changed. All right, one thing that I did was I put an alchemical chest here. Let's see, I should have gone right down here. And this is hooked to my apiaries. I have item conduits set to the bottom of these to output or to pump items out constantly. Then what I did was 
I went the insert here I went and used an advanced filter and it will allow it to put in the honeycomb the wax comb the bee grub and the queen bee but it is set to match metadata which means it cannot put a queen in here unless it is all the way down and damaged so it will not pump it out because it does not have a place to go until it is down to the last one then it pumps it out and what it does is it pumps them into this alchemical chest and I have a repair talisman in here and guess what it repairs the bees which is strange because you know they're they're alive alright so and I just come over here every once in a while I grab my queen bees I just go like this boom 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 throw them in and then after a while they'll do their stuff and then they'll get thrown in here crafted back to full strength and then I can do the same thing again I originally set up a system with crafters and the crafters would craft them into jelly and then it would craft the grubs with that and then I had that whole set up but I found out that the repair talisman worked with them and this is way easier because it doesn't take any RF at all all right, what are some other things that I've changed? I added in a sugarcane field over here. And I added in a bunch of the pressers to make sugar. So I have 356 stacks of sugarcane. And I have 2,080 stacks of sugar. I think that's probably like the max. And then I actually, I turned this farm off because I had enough to last me for quite a while. All right, one of the other things that I changed, I did this last night and I wanted to energize a node and show how to do that. I will come back to that because I wanna make the super node and do that, but I did have to energize a node last night. The reason being was I made these things called, um, what are they, essence? these things the essentia reservoir all right you put these things down they can hold 256 essence well I filled the thing up I went like this and I harvest it with my pickaxe well it just exploded and blew um what is it flux I think it's called flux or yeah I think that's what it's called it's like this purple liquid and it was like all over the place on the floor on the ceiling it was you know it was just a mess and it used to be like, you know, when you're doing the crucible crafting, you just take a piece of dirt and just, you know, a bunch of dirt, do it, and then break it up and you're good to go. This stuff wasn't having any part of that. So I ended up, I had to make a flux scrubber, and you need centivis to power that. So I hooked this up. And then what I did was, I was like, you know what, I've got an energized node, I had to do it off camera. And the master infusion stones i'm gonna have to craft quite a few of those for the philosopher stones so what i did was i made uh what is this this is a void void capped silverwood scepter that's a tongue twister and it says 70 percent average vis cost so with this if i swap my armor out for the thaumium the thaumium robes it will allow me, instead of it taking 250 vis to create one of these um, master infusion stones, it will only take 150, which, which is exactly what this holds. So each one of these, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a uh, silverwood scepter. It doesn't have enough. So I have enough vis already charged up in here to make eight master infusion stones, which is enough to make four philosopher stones. I am actually going to need to make three philosopher stones like pretty close at the beginning like I said I only need two to make the collector all right what else did I change around here I added another quantum portal in here this is not linked to anything right now what I actually want to do is I want to get above the bedrock in the nether you can do it one of two ways you can either wander around mining until you find a hole in the bedrock where a grave spawned up and broke the bedrock shadow wake has said those were put in there intentionally that way if you did end up on top of the nether you could still get out they're a lot easier to find when you're on top wandering around instead of just breaking through all that nether rack all right and the other way is you make a one one block gap 
like digging back and then you right click with an ender pearl and throw it back there you teleport your head is in the bedrock and then you either use a jetpack or you just like kind of jump up and throw an ender pearl and you get up on top of there then we can build a quantum portal on top of that and then when we set up a quarry we can set it up above the bedrock and then it's a lot easier to get from point A to point B. You don't have to tunnel it along and bridge. It's just all one constant height. So it's way better to do it that way. Oh, so here's another thing. Malice doors. I added this, this door. These are vanishing frames. These are from Malice doors. And this is the player sensor. So when I get close to this, it opens up. It is the same mod as this door here, which I really like. Now this, I made this door over here just to show you guys. If you're on a server, check this out. You right click to open the door and look at this. You have a combination. So one, two, three, four, and then V, I believe this is for verify, and then C for clear. You just hit verify and it'll open. And I love that squeaky noise. That's just the one, you can choose what sound effect you want. Actually, you know what? I should show you the block for making that or m making these doors. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I got lots of bricks. So you can do all sorts of stuff with malice doors. I mean, like it is crazy. So it's called a door factory and you go in here and you go movement. What type of movement you want? These are all of those. Let's see. Double rotating left, uh, ro rotating and replacing, rotating and sliding, rotating around, rotating four ways. Let's do rotating four ways. Then you can choose your sound type. So let's do a jail door this time. Uh, you can do whether or not it requires redstone. Double door, I think that might just like output a redstone signal to trigger the other one when you do it, I'm not sure. You can change the delay. Then over here in materials, you can put three different material types. So we'll do this. And if you wanna add a digital code, you put it in here. Then you just hit create door and you got it, boom, right here. So now we put this here and when we open it, that is pretty cool. Now I'm assuming since it says four ways, if you did a second door and you made it as a double door and you put the double door down here, this one swings to the left. I'd say this one would swing down, this one would swing to the right and that one would swing up. But yeah, Malice Doors is just like an awesome mod like i i can't get over how cool it is like you know combination locks sound effects you know up and down twist left right like the whole the whole thing is just amazing so if we do this let's look uh what's vortex that sounds cool sounds cool let's see uh vanilla door silent shoujo door why not Whoa, that is trippy. <laughs> Man, this is awesome. Okay, let's see. What else do we got? I haven't messed with too many of these. Sliding up, spinning, vanishing, vault. Okay, why not? Let's try uh, glass door. Did I put the materials in? Yep, I did. Here we go. Let's put this door here. I don't know why that's called vault. How do I, oh. What in the world? Oh, there we go, I gotta click on the very edge. That's kind of weird. Most of the doors, if you open them, you just click anywhere. Huh. See this one, I can just click in the center and it works fine. Okay, what else have I done? I've worked on crops. I've gotten several of them to like 10, 10, 10. Some of these like grapes and stuff I needed for runes. And I only did those as far as just growing them at level one because that's all I needed. Um, I got, what is this, steel? I still need to do electrical steel. I got spider essence so I can make string. I got lead, I have gassed. Um, this, I got my sugar light seeds to 10, 10, 10, which is good because we are going to need those when we start an EMC generator, which hopefully next episode we will have a philosopher's stone and be able to start 
uh, make a condenser and all of that stuff. All right, so you can see now we have 27 buckets of hooch. So yeah, we need four per philosopher's stone or not hooch, fire water. All right, we need four of those per per philosopher's stone. All right, until next time, this is Caddy Wampus Gamer signing off.